Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of pastry. In our previous session, we have discussed about the short crust pastry or pie and tart pastry dough. In this session, we are going to discuss shoe pastry. In this session, we will discuss all about shoe pastry. What are the various recipes? What are the precaution to be taken? And what is the uniqueness of shoe pastry? So let's start. Shoe pastry is a rich dough. made from pastry flour water melted butter and egg and it's pressed from a pastry bag with a white tape to form various shapes the shoe pastry dough is called panade it is a dough that is cooked before being baked during baking the egg helps to form a thin crust on the outside while the steam trapped inside expands giving the pastry a shape a typical puff hollow shape its irregular shape after baking earned its name shoe which means cabbage in french talking about the history as per some of the references the cream puff is believed to have originated in italy when catherine the medici a law lady moved to france in 1533 she brought with her entire court to france which includes her chefs her head chefs and all in 1540 her head chef by the name of panettiere made gato with dry hot dough he invented it and called it pate a panettiere the pastry later become known as pate a popolin and popolins were a form of cake made in middle ages in the shape of large puff or you can say large bread sides it was perfected by in the 18th century by chef avice attacher avice created what were the then called shoe buns the name of the dough changed to pate a show as advice avices buns resemble cabbages shoe in french further refinement and perfection were introduced in the 19th century by a master pastry chef from france chef antonio creme this dough become the same recipe for a shoe pastry as it is used today this is the basic shoe paste recipe and following ingredients are used these four ingredients create the delicacy which we all known to is shoe paste water butter flour and egg and all the ingredients should be measured on a accurate consistency and quality the method is distributed in three stages in first stage we scale all the ingredients and bring liquid to boil with addition of fat it can be shortening or butter in a water in our second stage we add all the dry ingredients refined flour and stir it fast to a paste like consistency the hot water mixture the starch gives that gelatinization show so we need to do the stirring little fast in our third stage we will remove it from the heat when the paste leaves the sides of the pan we put the batter into a mixture using paddle attachment and beat at low speed to let out the steam and it and cools down the mixture add the eggs one at a time until it reaches to its dropping consistency and pipe as desired and shapes and bake as prescribed so this is the three stages three steps major steps which we have to follow to bring a quality shoe paste 
product there are some precautions while making shoe pastry as not taking precautions can lead to a faulty product first is quantity of your egg the amount of egg required varies with each batch it depends how big the eggs are and how much eggs the flour absorb too much egg will make the shoe rise unevenly and spread too liquid paste will enable to hold the shape when it is baked not enough egg can lead to a stodgy shoe the banana need to be cooked carefully because if it is undercooked the ingredient could be unevenly mixed and it would retain the too much of moisture do the preparation very quickly as it can lead while piping and baking the panada immediately when it is still warm it will help the lightness and expansion bake the pastry until they are crisp dry and golden if the pastries are undercooked they could collapse when they are removed from the oven also it is preferable to cool the pastry slowly in the oven butter should be cut in small size and should be in melting quality while making shoe paste cut the butter into small pieces so it is it melts quickly and evenly and it can reduce the amount of water that evaporates due, during the boiling of your liquid all the flour must be added at once so it's cooked evenly beat vigorously until the mixture is smooth and comes away from the sides of the pan do not overbeat set the mixture aside to cool slightly so the egg don't cook when they are beaten in therefore it is essential that the oven is hot when placed in the oven without this initial burst of steam they will not rise properly or dry out they will stay flat and be soggy so these are the following uh, precaution which has to be taken care while making shoe paste there is some uniqueness about this product shoe paste are very unique because it is cooked before baking and eggs are more important than butter as we know in most of the pastries or paste butter plays a very important role in making the texture and quality of that product but in this paste in the shoe paste shoe pastry we use egg as a important ingredient as it gives the texture the flavor and the raise which is required and that's why eggs are more important than the butter also it is cooked before baking there are not any other pastries or paste which are been cooked before baking from a small drop of shoe paste a batter can get a 3x height it can be more than that if your product is very high quality and prepared very well it can lead to a little more height but yes a small drop can lead to a 3x of height it is baked in very hot oven in which the heat from the oven coagulates the gluten and protein from the egg to set structure and make a firm shell when the shoe paste is baked it is golden from golden brown from outside but somewhat wet inside similarly in taste and texture to scramble egg due to that excess of eggs used in the batter or paste these are the following preparations which are been prepared by a shoe paste the first one is shoe bun which was the first product and a refined product of avice uh, which gives him name a shoe pastry right a cabbage texture we have profiteroles which are filled with cream and decorated with a 
chocolate sauce. We have Paris breads, which are also being cut down into two slices and filled with a cream. We have swans, a swanless structure, which are filled by a fresh cream and given a particular shape. We have eclairs, a long uh, paste, which has been baked and filled with a cream and topped with a layer of chocolate into it. Thank you very much. This is all about shoe pastry. We will discuss in our second part about the laminated pastry, which is a unique product of pastry department or every potential want to be a uh, qualified in this product. Uh, so we will discuss in the part two about the laminated pastry. Thank you very much.